This is your 2022 real estate market update wrap up. Hey, South Florida, it's your realtor Julio Gonzalez. I'm a bit behind today, so recording from my office. So 2022 was a turbulent year for the housing market. And even though December numbers aren't in yet, we have a good picture of what took place. I'm going to keep this very high level. So go to my blog for more detailed version of this update. The big news for 2022 was interest rates. We got to experience the highest interest rates that most of us have experienced in our lifetime, over 7%. This, of course, caused a significant drop in the numbers of purchases and sales. We saw a 20% reduction in home sales and a 15% reduction in condo and townhome sales. And while median and average prices have dropped from a high in June, we're still up 16% from the prior year, and that continues to increase. What everyone wants to know, though, is what about 2023? My crystal ball is about as good as a magic eight ball. But as far as predictions put out by various economists, those are as varied as opinions as to who should be Speaker of the House. What they are consistent about is that what will happen will be very local and anywhere from a 15% drop to a 5% increase. Here in all of South Florida, we're generally supposed to see only a 5% drop, if anything, and we've seen two types of price drops only at this point. One is price drops in the higher end or luxury market, and the other is price drops associated with COVID valuations. What we're seeing still in many cases is sellers who think they're going to get 50 offers and will sell over ask, and then buyers who think it's 2009 and they can get 50% off list price. So if you're comparing COVID prices to reality, yes, prices have dropped significantly, but when looking at reality, there have only been reasonable drops, if that. As an example, I just sold a great condo in Wilton Manors at list price with an incredible level of interest from buyers and about a total of five days from list to contract. So the interest is definitely out there for the right property and the right price. For the rest of 2023, it looks like interest rates will settle somewhere in the 5% range and stay there for the foreseeable future. This can all change if the Fed continues to increase their rate and causes a deeper recession than what is expected. At the end of the day, people move when they need to move, and there are ways to lower rates and certainly negotiate a better price. And while I'm not saying let's all go out and buy, those who need to buy or sell can do so confidently that they can get a fair price. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my blog by clicking the link in my bio. Real estate's a referral business. Let me earn your business and be your trusted advisor. Thanks and enjoy the sunshine.